welcome to a full playthrough of Silent Hill The Short Message. I really, really enjoyed this game and I hope that you do too. This one deals with some pretty mature themes in places, so we will be talking about that stuff as we go through this game. But if you're ready for that, then pull your blanket up, uh, get some popcorn and a hot drink, and let's dive in to Silent Hill. Seeking a connection with others is a sign of weakness. It's running away. The strongest animals don't form groups. They act alone. And need only themselves to survive. Those who betray themselves to fit into a group are pathetic. There's no beauty in living like that. I want to be strong on my own. Without a group. If there were only someone who would understand that to adult me. I'm trying to think and I feel like most animals do have groups, don't they? What strong animal doesn't have a group? Lions do. Bears do. Tigers, oh my. Imagine just waking up somewhere and you don't know how you got there. Be so scared. But wasn't I just? I want to show you something. Can you come to the villa? Oh yeah. Maya told me to come here. Did she? Wow, the graphics are really good. So Sony just like surprised everyone with this. They announced it and dropped it during the event tonight, the live state of play thing. And on the trailer, I guess it was the stream that made it look not as good because now I'm actually playing it. The graphics look great. What is that? What is this? True detective? What's going on? Great. Opening doors. This is kind of like what... This should be commonplace in every horror now because it's the future. This generation would just use their phone. Like, no one's going to have a flashlight. Everyone would use their phone. No one owns a flashlight anymore. This model. Is it this building? Okay. No hope. Thief. I'm a little bit scared. Don't know how scary this is going to be. The plan to rebuild Kettenstadt, an overview. Kettenstadt, a town with a long history, is a thriving border stronghold. In recent years, those in their 20s have begun leaving en masse, causing concern. The aim of this wide-scale project is to rebuild Kettenstadt and restore it to its former glory with the help of Chinese investment firms. The theme is revitalization. The abandoned properties developed by Japanese corporations in 2008 have long been a problem, but by repurposing them, we can cut costs substantially and better realize our vision for a new Kettenstadt. But wait. This is saying... Help of Chinese investment firms. Okay, but we must be, what, in Germany? Because it says there, Der Plans der Innerung von Kettenstadt, wow. which is perfect German. So this place didn't always suck. Our parents dreamed of this? Ah, das ist sehr gut. Plans to rebuild Kettenstadt have suffered yet another major setback, as instability caused by the pandemic has reduced interest from foreign investors. Previous plans to jumpstart the town failed to materialize owing to the monetary instability caused by the global financial crisis, which forced the plan to involve Japanese corporations to be reconsidered. Two attempts to rebuild, two failures due to unfortunate external circumstances. Kettenstadt has struggled to bounce back with increased unemployment. The city council is considering ways to revitalize the economy by drawing skilled experts to the area, but as of yet no effective measures have been implemented. Everyone's losing their futures. That's all adults are. A slave to the system. Honestly, if I was on my own in a building like this, a door opening would be enough for me to absolutely poo my pants. Um, I censor myself there because I don't know what things are going to pick up, you know? Ah, 
<laughs> I don't like that. Okay. Where are you, Maya? Why would you meet someone here? I don't care if you're my best friend of 30 years. If you ask me to meet you here, I'm like, oh, you've lost your mind. Like, you're gonna... Do something to me. And I'm not about to let it happen. What well, is baby? Did I get you? Ah! Flowers. For me, for Valentine's Day. You shouldn't have. No exit. I'm trapped. I've always been trapped. Despite all my rage, I am still just a rat in a cage. Oh, great. It's locked. Guess we're going this way then. To all villa residents, we've received many inquiries about the management of this building after the recent news. We would therefore like to hold a meeting to explain our policies more formally. We hope you can find time to attend. I'm quite happy to walk around a spooky building and just read notes with very little jump scares. That's absolutely fine by me. Go for it. I would much prefer that. Oh god. Don't be manipulated. Maya? Do you have footsteps? They're my own. Some lovely artwork on the walls. What a creative bunch. Oh god. Was she doing art here? Was she an artist? Maybe that's what's been happening. Did Maya do this? CB. Cherry Blossom. That's Maya's signature. She's... Amazing. The city's a blank canvas. Begging for us to paint it with our hopes and dreams. I want to show the hidden side of girls, their impulses, their urges. I think there's a website for that. What are you hiding inside? Don't worry about what people think. Be proud. You about to kiss right now? How could I ever be proud of myself? Okay. I guess I saw what you wanted me to see. I'll be leaving now and going home and curling up and watching Singles Inferno. For a graffiti artist, spray paint and a blank wall are all you need. In Kettenstadt, the balls of a... You guys hear that too, right? I hope you do, because otherwise it's actually in my house and not in the game. Social media star CB features her work here. Given her passion for flowers, it's only fitting that her name is CB, which is short for Cherry Blossom. CB's art continues to captivate the hearts of the young, so we reached out to her for comment. Keeping her eyes fixed on her new piece, she had this to say. All I'm doing is showing what these girls feel on the inside, but can't show on the outside. If any of them connect with a girl in the art, it's probably because they're experiencing the same thing. Everyone can see how talented she is. I couldn't be more different. Okay, but do you hear that sound out there? Because I'm hearing some sort of squeak. It sounds like baby noises. <laughs> His head fell off. <laughs> it's funny, is it? Yeah. Imagine if it did, like, the Toy Story thing and sprouted spider legs right now. Oh, 
Okay. Be brave. It's been so long since I played a horror and I'm... <laughs> oh, I know why I take so long to go back to them now, because I am not happy. Has anything changed? <laughs> Why did Who's there? Why did it grab the camera? Oh my god. That scared the life out of me. And then the controller did a text noise, and that scared me because it sounded like it was real life. Because it wasn't out of my headphones. Sorry for the late reply, I fell asleep. Don't worry about it, how are you feeling? Can you hear it coming out of the controller? Oh, it's scary. I'm okay, I can actually kind of get some rest now. I didn't mean to scare you or anything. Seriously, don't worry. I'm still a little tired, I'm gonna get up soon. Oh, he did scare me. Relief. Terrified me. I'm gonna take my cardigan off. Oh, gosh. Getting me out of my winter clothes. Yeah. What is this? Creep. Loser. Insane. Creep. Dumb. Liar. Freak. What's with this place? Why all the sticky notes? Go, get out of that hole, that doorway. Loser! Stupid! Liar! Crazy! Cry, baby! Ugly! I hate you, dumb! She never said anything nice. Not a praise king kind of gal, then. Child abuse, neglect, and Kettenstadt. A recent statistical survey showed the rate of child abuse in Kettenstadt last year was nearly double that of the average in other developed nations in Europe. The recent economic strife and resulting poverty are thought to be the cause. <sighs> My mom loved me. Get lost. You'll never become anything. She is gross. You're delusional. Weirdo. No way. Loser, loser, loser. So is this not real? This must be a nightmare, because why does this exist? You know? This is very creepy. We practice positive self-talk here. We don't say bad things to ourselves. Antidepressants. I've taken enough medication. So I'm getting that it's maybe a trip through our mind? And what, this is our bedroom? We're on anti-Ds? Hey, I'm about to say, nah. What was that? Knock the pills over? Okay. Hey, ma! Mm, sorry. <laughs> Kakaroch. Oh, I'm uncomfy. Oh, I do not like cockroaches. There was one in the place, I was in in Spain one time, and it was like, so scary, and it took me like 30 minutes to deal with it. I'm not good with bugs, I'll be honest with you. These ones look so big and creepy. She doing some painting in here? doing a thing, but we could see the marks and stuff. I feel like that's the kind of thing that's going to get demonetized. 
Anything with self stuff is not for YouTube, really. Oh my god, I thought something was going to be there. As I found out from my mortuary assistant playthrough. Which was so scary. I was so... Loved that. I need to do another edit of that, honestly. That's like YouTube friendly, because it was amazing. Let me know in a comment if you want me to do that. Because it'll encourage me and remind me. Ha! 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 Oh! My god. The fact that these sounds are coming out of the controller is... F oh my god. That is too much of a jump scare. It's so loud. What about you, Anita? What? You didn't look so hot the other day. Fine. Don't have to worry about me. Obviously, I'm gonna. I'm taking my meds. Meds are good. What about therapy? Doesn't really do much, to be honest. Talking to adults doesn't help. Some of our classmates were hospitalized. You don't have to do this alone. I know. I'll let you know if I need my thing. And those guys deserved it. They feel bad, you know. All of them. Why? There's some... Ah! Why am I being... Why? Mm, okay. Just keep... Keep going. Keep on trucking. Keep on walking. One foot in front of another. Right? Right. Right, right. Maya? Right? <laughs> running. We are running. She is coming. She is coming. She's spooky girl. Did that open? Did that... <laughs> She is the cherry blossom. I swear I went through that door though, and then if she was huh? what the hell just happened? In front of me. Do I get another go? It's like it turned me around. Okay. We go again. Who's that spooky girl? Head full of flowers chasing after me. Who's that spooky girl? Where am I? Am I safe? Where did it even go? was that thing? I want to show you something. Are uh, you here? I'm in the studio. Maya? Uh, there's a monster here. Are you okay? Teenage suicides continue at infamous building. A rundown apartment complex in Katniss stats become known for its sewer slides, with teenage girls jumping from its roof practically every year. Despite repeat events, the building, abandoned ever since the development management company declared a bankruptcy, remains easily accessible. The young and unemployed are not deterred by the building's grim reputation, though, with many continuing to enter it. Young graffiti artists use it for their work. Please. Not Maya, too. She has been acting weird lately. Which door? Oh. She got a flower in her belly. Is this pregnancy? Cherry blossoms bloom within the grasp of death. With most flowers, the rot sets in. Then they fall. That's the price of new life. Your weird artsy friend Not when they finish a new book. Though. They bloom beautiful. They fall beautiful. That's how I want my life to be. Why is she not replying? Come on! 
I have to find her. CB. What if the monster is her? Could be. Oh no. The music is implying. Oh no. That monster. It's gone, right? The graphics look Where is the studio? pretty good for a free game, right? And it's we're getting to a place where I think in five years, horror games are going to be uh, too real. Inside the fog of social media, all of the teenagers interviewed said they were ashamed of the risque selfies they posted online. They claimed they experienced anxiety over not getting any likes. Oh my god, I'm so glad that I grew up at a time without social media, okay? And I understand a big part of my job is social media and like four likes and stuff, but I'm kind of like, <clears throat> I've been doing this for like 10 years now, I've trained myself to care less and I still do a little bit, but that's work and that's games and stuff. I can't imagine growing up as a teen and trying to get likes on photos and deriving self-worth and stuff from that. If you're going through that, I feel for you in such a big way. I feel like it is such a poison of uh, today's world, like growing up with social media. Um, what all of the kids had in common was extremely low self-esteem. The greater the anxiety and lower their confidence, the more pronounced their reactions were to positive attention. The sense of fulfillment they experienced after getting a like online is difficult for adults to comprehend. Furthermore, even when acknowledged, the teenagers still could not view their actions positively and quickly reverted to despair, seeking more attention to fill the void. Teenagers who are not yet psychologically mature can run the risk of experiencing a toxic quest for validation. I mean, this is a, it's a huge issue. And... You know, it's difficult because we have gamified uh, your, your Twitter, your Instagram and everything else in terms of make sure you're saying the right thing to elicit the response that you want that makes you feel good about yourself and gives you a positive feeling. And it's empty. It is empty. And it's usually negative. And you do open yourself up to negativity. And it's like this, isn't it? Shut up, shut up, shut up. Like that. But it's... um. Yeah, it's sad, man. I feel for anyone growing up with that. It's difficult. What's that? Oh, the famous suicide spot. Is there a body growing there? Looks like there is, right? Am I seeing things? That's, I wonder if we're sort of meant to see that. Like, you can almost see, like, the shape of a body there, right? Like, the head and... There's a bear. Look. One in every game. Bar. We found him. Every horror game, especially, has a baron. Bar. But yeah, try not to care, I guess, and posting stuff for likes and that, man. It's difficult. Because there's nothing else out here. Graphics out here look amazing. Sorry, I could I could ramble about that for ages, but I'm gonna shut up and get back to the game. Oh, uh oh. Um, isn't that the door I came out of? I think it is. Maybe we'll get an opportunity to talk about it further if we get some more articles. Seems to be what this game is dealing with. I'm making it worse by making the character walk a bit slower, but it's because I'm so nervous to move forward. Creepy. Maya. I hope you're alright. Sorry for sniffling, I've been a little bit under the weather. A burr! Oh, ha! Ah. Mm. BT dubs. Mm, thought any more about college? I can't do it. You don't have to decide right away. So? Once you're at college, are you not coming back here? No way, I'll come back occasionally. My parents would give me shit if I didn't come home for breaks. But yeah, just give college some more thought, okay? I told you, I can't go. It's not for me. 
Studying isn't my thing. I told you I would help you. It's fine. I can't do anything. I don't know what I'd do if I got in. It's not true. Way too hard on yourself. Be proud of who you are. Wait, what about those drawings you showed me? You could audit an art class. It could lead to a job. I'm not Maya. Oh. He doesn't get it. <laughs> gotcha. So he don't really like this place. I get it. I like the little bits of real People video. In this town see graffiti as nothing but trashy doodles. And my classmates talk about me. Might not be a bad idea to leave town, actually. The great thing about graffiti is the world's your canvas. And as long as I'm with you, I can have fun anywhere. Is it maybe this girl is us and who is she talking There's to? No is that the mystery? Mr. Bear, what you doing here, Mr. Bear? Who left you here holding a heart? Happy Valentine's. We're actually not near Valentine's. I think it's the 1st of Feb today. What, what, how many? Yeah, it is. 1st of February right now because it's uh, 2 in the morning. I usually try and take Wednesdays off, but loads of gaming stuff happened today, so it just worked. CB, is this her room? Knock, knock. Housekeeping. Maya, are you here? Maya's a lovely name. Is this your studio? Was you squatting? Huh? Schizenbook. Does that mean sketchbook? Dude, German is hilarious. You <laughs> like how a hospital is a Krankenhaus, right? Schizenbook. If someone tell me in a comment, is that is something sneaking up on me? The hell is that noise? Creep me out. Schizenbook. Ah, pasta Schizenbook. Amazing. I actually love German. It's wonderful, wonderful language. Are these Maya sketches? These aren't even finished. Ah, oh, that's and so they good. Look this good. They seem happy. Ich liebe das Gesundbuch. A new life. So full of life. Who was that? Maya? Are you here? Where are you? This place is dangerous. We need to go. Maya, respond, please. Why won't she reply? Where are you? Am I going crazy? I don't know. Oh dear, dear, dear. Something gonna come. Hang on, scary. Okay. It's beautiful. Who did Maya have in mind? Did you post this too? Oh, she was like posting her art and people were being mean Even about it or something? more followers. Oh, she had loads of likes. I lost followers again. You have a hundred though. Some new followers here. Little bear? to upload stuff like this to get as many likes as Maya. Sexy! <laughs> Love 
it's implied then that she has a secret account like those were supposed to be sexy selfies I guess I'm sorry you have your own situation to deal with I was out of line I was thinking selfishly I'm so sorry uh, no I, I shouldn't have gotten mad like that I guess I haven't accepted Maya's death yet. Uh, huh? Why did she jump from the villa? Why did she have to die? Maya's... dead? Wait... Maya's really dead? Nothing the phone told me after that. Anyways, is now a good time to promote my Instagram and for you guys to go follow me and give me some likes so I can feel nice and warm and fuzzy about myself. To push buttons. To give me meaning. Instagram and TikTok at MadMorph. Thank you very much. Who's out here? Um, should we run? I think we should run. I'm going with run. I'm go going with run. Oh my god, that actually really scary. She creepy. Where am I? We're in the jungle, baby. followers 37,000 not bad no one is ever going to notice me don't do it comparison is the thief of joy babe <sighs> this is where this is I jumped from bad things happen because of you Maybe I can be like her. Here goes. Wake 
wake up, bad dream. the ending no way okay. huh? she's like in a purgatory or something am i back at the villa why would she be in purgatory what did she do but why didn't i die secret, secret bully Secret catfish, like, was sending hate or something to Maya, made Maya do it. <gasps> What's it gonna be? You find it? Find what? Can't leave till you find it. It's really you, Maya. Can't leave till you find it. Maya's dead, you're not her. Can't leave till you find it. <gasps> Who the f is this? You can't leave till you find it. Tell me. What the fuck? Language. Oh, cool. I'm so glad I didn't finish that. I was about to be depressed for the rest of the night. Oh my gosh. Oh, I feel like we might have been the bully or something. Oh no. My battery. This is why you have to enjoy what you do for what you do and not for what comes of it because it's just, you know, there's always going to be someone doing better than you, you know? There is, there is no relief at the top of the mountain. Like I have a million followers on TikTok. It that whatever you're looking for, like it doesn't stop when you get there. Like it's not, you know. So whether if you're at fifty thousand and you think if you get, you could look at my account and be like, oh man, if I had, it's just it doesn't. You gotta look. You gotta look elsewhere. You gotta look within. Bad girl gets an empty plate. <laughs> On this episode of Down to Sleep. <laughs> I was about to read that very in that voice, but you know, you know what? No. Do you know what? No, you should. Bad girl gets an empty plate. That's the reading you get, okay? It's not for free around here. This is going to be um, scarier without a light. Going the same way. And I feel like it's about to get a bit more jumpy and horrific, right? It's all your fault. This is all your fault. Our bad things happen because of you! <laughs> I, the overacted, like, that is like theater kid silhouette right there. Wonderful. So we retrace our same steps. But are things different? Yes. Did we ruin her artwork? Look, we defaced it. Uh, what? I bet we did this because we were jealous. Who would do this? But we did it. It's gonna be it, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah, honestly, I think if it wasn't my job and I didn't do it in a service way of sharing games with people, I would be one of these people who doesn't have any social media. I think I would try and make that choice. Because I actually, like, don't post anything about myself at, at all. Um, I'm not someone who wants to, like, share my life for likes. It's all just like, hey, look at this game. Isn't this cool? Um, so I guess try not to fall into that trap. Ah, you're spooky. If we can take anything from it. No, it's hard, though. Wait. It's back on. You're only human. We'll do it. 
How could somebody do this? It's great. Your work speaks to me. The kindness of the artist. Can't wait to see more. You're so full of yourself. What is this shit? Here we go. More people with messed up views. Some people really have nothing better to do. Your art wait. sucks. I bet it was these guys. Oh, oh Jesus. Bloody bagheads. Do you mind? A bit creepy. What's this? this goes down even deeper now. What was the floor before? Great play. It's hard as a human when we have corporations and, like, the marketing experts of the world, like, designing these apps in a way to convince you that you need it and like it, you know? Um, so this is the same article. I was just curious if that was going to change. Oh, boy. Sorry this for the late reply. Just like Fell before. asleep. Feeling okay? Good enough to get out of bed. Sorry for being a bad friend. Is Maya really dead? Why are you asking that? Please tell me. I still can't believe she's gone either. I wish it was a lie. She seemed perfectly fine before it happened. She really is dead then. Are you okay? Are you getting enough sleep? Taking some really good meds. Meds are good. What about therapy? You're so good to me, but you're leaving me behind. Maya didn't tell you anything? All she talked about was a book she read. I feel guilty for what happened. Even if she didn't tell me anything, I should have known something was up. Did Maya really not say anything? Like, at all? So what'd you think of the book? The author killed themselves when they were young. Something beautiful from something tragic. It's kind of enchanting, isn't it? I wonder what they were thinking right before they died. Anyway, I didn't think you'd share your thoughts in a letter. You really are shy, aren't you? I actually kind of like that, though. You write in a really flowery and passionate way. I can't wait to read more. Did we write something? Are we dead? Are we all dead? I guess go back to the other artwork. Which was... What's this? Wonder what those guys are talking about. Fortune telling? A lot of people are getting into that. Huh. Boobs. You don't believe in that stuff? I love a fortune well, cookie. I think there's something real about it. My great grandmother was a fortune teller. I hear people here used to treat her like some sort of prophet.
but they all eventually turned on my great grandmother. Guess you can predict other people's futures, but not your own. Wait, I'm just now. <clears throat> I'm just now remembering in the sorry I thought something was going to be humming I'm just now remembering in the trailer for this one this next Silent Hill game that they haven't showed much of yet there is a flower monster and it's I'm pretty sure similar to what we're seeing here I wonder if this is like secretly connected to that somehow uh, belief in the Witch of Kettenstadt. Those who believe in the Witch of Kettenstadt share many practices with modern Wiccans, such as praying for a bountiful harvest and goddess worship. What sets the practice apart is the slight blend of both Western and Eastern customs. As for what led to the mixing of customs, there's one rather creative theory. During the joint efforts of Japanese and German entrepreneurs and laborers in the 1930s to foster economic growth and prosperity, there was an exchange in cultural beliefs giving rise to the belief in oh, hitches. I think it might be. I mean, it would make sense to do this as a free game to, like, promote what's coming next, right? <clears throat> I reckon. Oh, tarot. tarot cards. <laughs> no point predicting my future. What you got here? Uh, the hermit, the star, the sun, the hanged man, the devil the chariot and the the ju, ju, janitor I don't know if you want food do what I say <clears throat> sorry it's probably delivered a lot more menacingly than that <laughs> if you want food do what I say all right if you want food do what I say In Japanese culture, there's been a long sense of beauty and sacrifice, with harikiri, killing oneself by slicing one's stomach, being a prime example. The idea was that by taking your own life, you symbolically purge the world of your transgressions and purify yourself. The concept can be confusing to many Westerners, with young people incorrectly assuming that the Japanese yearn for a beautiful way to die. Modern Japanese people, however, do not view suicide in such a positive light anymore, and the life they value is not the biological variety, but rather a social one, where death is needed to protect that life. <clears throat> All right. Oh my gosh, every time I open a door, a little bit of me dies with fear. Trash room. <clears throat> This is all your fault, everything. You're a heartless bitch. You stole my only friend, my place in this world, all of it. You don't even care. I'm invisible to you. I hate you. You're not talented, you're not special. You call those shit stains art. You came out of nowhere and ruined everything. <laughs> I would love to deliver those lines to you, but YouTube's too sensitive these days. Oh my god, is, there, is everyone else just cringing, thinking something's going to be behind the door? Because, same. Occasionally swear in a horror game because I can't help it, but I, I generally try not to. I used to swear in my videos because I was just a live streamer, so I would swear on Twitch, but um, once I started playing Animal Crossing, even though it was mostly improv stuff and I, the audience is all adults, but I just, it felt weird to like be playing a game that is sort of kiddish and be swearing, so I stopped and then trained myself out of it. And so now I just don't. Which is, was probably came at the right time because then YouTube started demonetizing everyone for swearing. 
but um, it just happened naturally for me. It was actually just because I felt that it could be inappropriate. Who's humming? Sorry, not really the game for life stories. It's locked. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't know if we're even going the right way. Like it was locked, but am I, what am I supposed to do? I, I, I got a bit scared and I just started moving away from the door. Maybe we're supposed to go up here or something. Do not enter. Graffiti, unlawful occupation, other acts are reported. Go out the window. Okay. Oh, this game's making me feel tense and hot. <sighs> Been a while since we did a horror. Let me know if you're enjoying if you'd like to see more horror games on the channel. Dream big, guys. We can do it. More horror. <clears throat> we going in here? Is this new? Stay home alone. Stay home alone! Macaulay Culkin. Hmm, cute owl. This must be my room. October 17th, 2020. I'm finally focused on my studies, so I think I might pull an all-nighter. It won't be good for my skin. I can hear people calling me troll and nerd, but I don't care. I have to make it to college in the city. Mum and Dad are counting on me to do well. I'll make them proud by getting into my first choice. Time to hit the books. November. Dad was talking today about how there was a plan to rebuild the town. They were going to use a bunch of funding from China to turn the town into something better, but everything got cancelled due to the vid. Sure, it would have been nice if it had gone through, but I just couldn't see it happen. Even if things had worked out. Not in this place. It hasn't been special since I was little. There's nothing to do. The buildings are ancient. It's a dump. My future isn't here. It's in the city, where college life is waiting for me. Everything's riding on my entrance exam next year. I have to get out before my brother comes back. <clears throat> Periodic table of elements. I used to uh, know all of this off by heart because I had a poster on the wall just like this and my dad would test me. And I knew every single one of them. And now I don't. Thanks, dad. What we eating? What do we got here? Who are these pictures of? Is this me? Can't tell. That kind of looks like the friend in the phone. But I guess we haven't really seen ourself as live action yet, so it's hard to know what we would look like. I got some materials for my first choice. In the mail today. I'm going to be a college freshman. I'm so happy. I still can't believe it. Mum and dad are going to study. I'm going to study my ass off and be the best daughter ever. Thank you so much. Mum and dad are yelling at each other. They're talking about bankruptcy. Wasn't everything supposed to work out even without the rebuilding plan? So this means they're out of money, right? Does that mean I can't go to college? All that hard work was for nothing? No way. Don't leave me, mum. I can't stay here. I can't be stuck with my brother. Mum left. She told me to get out of the way. I have to get out of here. I want to disappear, but where would I go? It's all a bad dream. It's all a bad dream. It's all a bad dream. Is our brother not a good guy? Young student found dead. Possible. I'm saying this word a lot, and I feel like it's going to affect the video. <laughs> 
At around 10 a.m. on the 24th, a local resident reported seeing an 18-year-old female high school student fall from the roof of a Kettensett apartment building. The girl was rushed to the hospital but pronounced dead two hours later. According to school staff, the girl was distraught over not being able to attend college due to troubles at home. No note or diary was found, but police believe her death may be... Amelie's not like this, though. Right? So wait, this was Amelie's room? Amelie? What an eating habit. So are we just a bunch of kids that off themselves? There are little outbreaks of it sometimes in, in little towns. Maybe, uh, maybe it's like inspired by that. So I'm just like texting with dead people. Love, dream, peace. Oh, is this the brother's room? I haven't been able to study since my brother came back for Christmas break. He's nice and doesn't interrupt my studies or anything, but I can't stand him staring at me. I know he was probably just messing with me back then, but I've been scared of him ever since. It's made me hate any guy looking at me. I can't believe other girls walk around school and town showing so much skin. I think I'm finally finding my study groove. Test scores are really good. I'm worried about how much my parents are fighting recently, though. They were yelling at each other again today. I asked Mum why, but she wouldn't say. This is it. Test day tomorrow. Mum told me I should be proud of myself since I worked so hard, so I'm feeling great. She's not my real mum, but I know she loves me and I love her. Mum, I'm gonna ace this test tomorrow for you and Dad. Amelie hated the way her brother looked at her. I bet she wants to leave to get away from all that. Okay. It won't open. So what have we missed? Hello? Deutschland Medical University School of Medicine. Welcome to Deutschland. Founded in 1709 DMU, one of Europe's oldest and revered institutions. Orientation details, September 24th, wear a mask. This is for the college Amelie wants to go to. Anita, you got a minute? What's up? You seemed kind of out of it before. If something's bothering you, you can let me know. Thanks, I'm fine. Sorry to bring it up. Don't want to pray. It's okay. We should go shopping together sometime. I haven't left my house in what feels like forever and my brother's coming here. Right, you okay? Yeah, I'm gonna try and avoid him as much as possible. Shopping, yeah? We can find you something cute. I'm good. I'm not a fan of crowds. Nothing looks cute on me anyway. Stop talking like that. You're way too hard on yourself. You've got the looks. You just need the right outfit. Too hard on myself, huh? Amelie's the only one who thinks that. I, uh... Man, it makes you feel for people, doesn't it? Terrible home life kind of thing. Just... Everyone's fighting their battles, man. This is the thing in life. Like, just try and be kind to everyone because you literally do not know what other people are fighting. And everyone's fighting something. Like, no one's getting through this life unscathed, you know? So it's like, just be kind to everyone and know that when people aren't kind to you, it's probably because of the other stuff that they're going through. Honestly, any kind of meanness or toxicness from people... It says more about them always than it does about you. So. We just gotta be good to each other as best we can. Hello? That looks like a nice bright light and a way out of here. I'm sure nothing will happen on the way. Actually, nothing did happen. We've got a change of scenery and lighting. I'm... I'm a fan. <sighs> Say no to drugs. Um... School, huh? Are we going to class? 
Oh. Nightmare. Dumb. Ow. The hell, man. It's not my fault. Go away. I'm trying to. Bitch. Freak. <laughs> Excuse me. Can I get through, please? You're being mean. And you know what? It says more about you than it does about me. You're probably going through something at home. You know? And I, and I feel sorry for you. <sighs> Can't even get out of here. Trapped in school. Guys, do you know where history class is? Oh, my locker. What the hell? Get out, you freak slut! Your art's fucking You're weird! You're a freak! God, you piece of shit! experience of school. Or was it? It's keeping us guessing this way, isn't it? Um, what does that mean? Someone coming? Am I meant to go this way? Run, 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 run. Oh my god, slender vibes. says don't run is this a oh wait are we safe why are you chasing me it's intense not again not again what did i do to deserve this those scenes are so loud compared to everything else. I feel like sound mixing is so bad on games these days. So much is so quiet. Find it. Find what? Find it. Just tell me what I'm looking for. Find it. What the fuck am I supposed to find? Okay. It's me. I read that yet? 
I haven't really been in a good mood since this morning. I tried to lose myself in my graffiti, but I wasn't feeling it. Maybe it's because Mum and I argued. Probably not. We've clashed before. I've known for a long time we value different things. Is it because my classmates tease me? I doubt it. They don't know me. They're just taking their issues out on someone. Exactly. It's got to be because I lost that special person. The hope he gave me. Why do I feel like this? I've never felt like this before. It's us, right? The girl in this picture. Oh. Is Amelie. So we. I feel. Like, oh, maybe we're Maya and we painted her? Like, we. I'm confused. Skizen book. This guy looks familiar. They're hurt. He has the um bracelet on. Where are you going? <sighs> yeah, that's right. Sky Children of the Light concept art. Amelie. <laughs> Hmm? What's that? Oh, you like what you see? Come closer then. Wait a sec. You two are from my class. Those glasses look good on you. Uh, sorry, she's so cute. I couldn't help myself. Feel free to stop by any time. You're always welcome. <laughs> Maya only ever cared about Amelie. She didn't see me. I was invisible to her. Bum 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 ba -na -na. Green ain't your color, babe. So it was us. We got jealous. She stole our friend. We wrote that note. We wrote that book. The library. Oh. So I'm back at school. Love a library. <laughs> There's no beauty in any of this. Oh, oh, sorry. I was just thinking about something. I borrowed that book you wanted. I finished it, so it's all yours. I wrote my impressions in a letter. Read it when you get home, okay? sad it's gonna be it's exactly what we were talking about that it's gonna be we are unhappy with our life and we felt miserable our page wasn't getting any likes our page wasn't getting any follows she stole our friend and we took it out on her the town cursed by a witch malicious magic to blame for city slum kettenstadt continues to see a rapid decline in its population the birth rate is at a mere 0.7 less than half the german average Miscarriages are 31% more than double the average. The economy is in shambles. The once booming industrial city has failed to revitalize itself twice. 
A number of researchers studying the occult point to a witch as the cause of the economic downturn. The witch was a Japanese woman who used her clairvoyance to influence economic development in the town in the 1930s. Researchers believe she was hunted down and killed. Before her death, she's believed to have placed a curse on the town, stimming its growth. Stimming? So stimming? It is a curse. But why me? Why do I have to be cursed like this? Find it. It's going to be her letter, right? Find it. Find what in a place like this? In the book. The book that she liked. I wonder what it's going to be. Is it going to be Sylvia Plath or something? What would it be? Sapiens, the history of humankind. The English Dictionary. Physics. Modern eating habits. That's a popular one. More dictionaries. I can see it's that one there, but I just wanted to see if there was any more books. What's your favourite book? What is it? The Hexen von Kettenstadt. The Hex of Kettenstadt? The Witch Hunt of Kettenstadt. Hexenjagd means witch hunt? That's cool. Be a cool band name. In 1930s Germany, the town of Kettenstadt attracted wealthy entrepreneurs and enjoyed a period of economic prosperity. Behind that success, though, was supposedly a Japanese woman who used her clairvoyance. This is my audition for a mystery channel. Behind that success, though, was supposedly a Japanese woman who used her clairvoyance and mystical powers to guide the entrepreneurs. She would come to be known as the Witch of the Far East and would be greatly respected by the German people, who were not very creative at coming up with names. In 1947, the entrepreneurs suffered great losses. A large fire spread throughout their industrial parks, losing them the majority of their factories. The witch of the Far East, who was hospitalized, jumped off the roof of the hospital and killed herself. The witch had been diagnosed with an unknown illness. Many believed the fires pushed her over the edge. Some citizens, however, claimed that a witch hunt was to blame. They argued the witch's rise to prominence angered the mayor's party, who used the chaos from the fires as a cover for murder. There is no evidence to support this claim, and many now view it as a mere conspiracy theory. But the mayor's party did manage to regain influence in the town after the witch's death. Since then, citizens have started to believe any stroke of bad luck is a result of the witch's curse. A witch's curse? Is that why I saw what I did before? Down to sleep on YouTube, Spotify, and everywhere you get podcasts if you want me to read you a bedtime story. They're a lot less scary than that. They're nice. Really enjoying Lord of the Rings at the moment. Are we done? I won't open. Negative. Oh. So what book... What did you leave behind? Something, somewhere. And you put a letter in there for me to find. Didn't you? What did you want me to see? What is it? Show me now. Guide me. Can I go over this way? Is it in my bag? Read this one? I've been everywhere, haven't I? It's locked. Uh, crescendo. really showing up. How many times I have to walk these halls, huh? Am I supposed to walk them in a specific route? Is this like a puzzle? Is 
didn't miss a page, did I? Read them all. Um. I've read this. Do I have legs? No, it's my phone I'm holding down there. supposed to be a letter in there? Is the door open now? Man, this has been way better and way longer than I thought it was going to be for a free horror game. It's been good. I've been enjoying this story. It's provocative. <laughs> left me on read. I was worried. Rude. Sorry, I was just thinking about Maya. Not sure if you know it, but Maya was bullied. I know. But she said she was okay. I figured I shouldn't push the issue. Then it was too late. Why didn't she say anything before she died? I wish she'd talk to me. Maybe she didn't see me as a friend. That's not true. Maybe we like sent something and signed it from her and it made her feel like she didn't have her. Here. It wasn't here before, either. God, kids are so cruel. My locker. Why is it locked? Is there something I don't want to see? Hmm. Do you not know your own combination, babe? Hey. Eh? Shouldn't you? Open. If I was a combination. Uh, what? What? What are you wanting? It's, uh, is it this here? So it's like. But these also kind of look like numbers. Because that could be a four and a one and a seven, couldn't it? And an eight. An eight? Am I thinking that right? But which? From where? From what direction? Hence? Like, is that a four? Is that eight, four, one, seven? I don't know. Am I being dumb? Probably. Doing it too many. Is my something wrong with my analog stick? I've been playing Tekken too much, probably. Well, it's not that. Seven one four eight. 
I'm actually so good at Tekken though. Um, but not good at numbers. Oh, it says liar. Maybe it's not those. Let's have another look around. Two. There's a number. Okay, I was being dumb. Right. Two is one. Actually, the number two. It's blue, so maybe that blue could still be something. Oh, one. Three. Zero. And maybe it's the order of what they're... The colors of these, so it's... Zero. And then the red one, so zero, three. One, two. I just did an escape room with my family the other day. <laughs> My brain's engaged. It was actually really fun. Did this escape room. It was my brother's birthday. And um, it was kind of like Portal. It was an AI in a house, like an Alexa. And we were engineers sent in. And we had to like work out how to shut it down. Because it was spreading around the world like a virus. It was really cool. I know what's inside. And I can't look away. Here it is. What's this letter? Was it inside the book? Okay, moment of truth. Remember when I said I wanted to live like a cherry blossom? To be beautiful and dignified for a fleeting moment, simply by letting go of life. Daring to bloom, knowing it won't last and so falling in vivid color. I wish I could live like that. I want to experience true beauty, if only for a moment. I met someone who made me feel different. He showed me a whole new world, gave me hope. I honestly thought he could help me find a new me. I felt it with all my heart. But people didn't understand us. Didn't want that from us. In the end, they took my hope from me. They took him away. People, people who can't achieve beauty, seek comfort in others. They fear anyone different, hate them, try to tear them down. I can't take much more of this. I wish you and I had I wish you and I could run away together, Amelie. Just me and you. Did we make it so she never got this letter? Maya. She was asking Amelie for help. But I just... It's in my locker. Uh... Everything. You're way more talented than me. So why? Why take Amelie from me? You acted like I wasn't even there. Amelie is my friend. She's mine. Uh, I only wanted to take her down a bit. She she was taking Amelie away from me. She wouldn't pay attention to me. How was I supposed to know she'd actually kill herself? <laughs> well, We've done it now. And then was this. 
our friend's locker. She had a picture with both of us. I'm the villain. Went the wrong way. The villain of the story is me. I'm the poison. It's all your fault. Time to run. Pain for our sins. I knew it was too easy. I knew she was going to be there. to look back is so strong. Ah, didn't need to. I guess it's like a maze. I have to work out which way to go. It's very pretty. It's a lot of flowers. I like how that's the game over and continue. It's cool. she was. Oh my god, she's right behind us. No, that's looped. Must go faster. Must go faster. And that's a not the way. Oh no, that's lockers. It's a dead end. Oh my gosh. Mm. It's a tougher one. It must be the last chase. Times the charm. I wonder if I have to go to this end to trigger her first. Like, is she behind me right now? We go to this one. And then we turn and we run. I won't go through that one this time. Tour nine.
12. Where she was before, right? Lockers. Oh my god, she's right there. Then it's the dead end blockers, and then we go back, 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 run, 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 run. I was right there, dude. Come on, man. You gonna make me repeat that? Those doors, like, slowed me down so much, those don't run doors. Maybe it wasn't the right way. That felt like it happened sooner. Oh my god, I nearly fell out of my chair. Stop. and then this she's there no This is terrifying. That's the dead end. I think it is through those doors. Just have to be quick. Oh, it's that one. No! I was there. You kidding me? the non-numbered blue ones is where we want to go, I think. That one 
Optimus numbered. Lockers. Duke her there. Finally I got it and I don't run into the locker. I'm sorry. Through here. Through here. Through this one. Left. Okay, so it's run to the roof. It's run to the roof. It's run to the roof. I was tempted to go for the roof, but it felt so much further away from that door that I was scared. Should have done that the first time. For sure in those shots behind, like, the Maya flower monster should have been there. That would have been amazing. Is that now the end? Or no? What? No escape. But I jumped off the building. This one is it's not been like super jump scary they could have put a load of really cheap jump scares in and it would have been terrifying um but it's been it's been good it's been story focused i ended up heading to the roof of the villa couldn't help but think of the girl who jumped to her death last year actually a lot of girls kill themselves here all teens supposedly now the place is a famous spot for people to kill themselves Looking down from the roof, I could see how high up I was. The thought of a light breeze sending me flying made me a little crazy. Were they not scared? What was going through their heads? Were they jumping away from something or to something? Maya's diary. Did you dare go outside? No future. Go 
no hope. So all the stuff we previously went through is now getting all like boarded up with this stuff. Feeling like pathways are closing. That you're trapped. But there's no way out. No exit. Except for one. The Silent Hill phenomenon. The suicide rates increased around the world, in large part due to the struggles brought on by the Pandy, with countries still unsure how best to handle the issue. These trying times have given rise to strange phenomena in many areas. Those affected suddenly claim to see fog, even on fair weather days, and lose consciousness shortly after. It's come to be known as the Silent Hill phenomenon, named after a similar event that occurred in an eponymous US town. The first to propose a theory explaining why this could be happening is Dr. A social sociologist at what, university who had the following to say. To one who is psychologically unstable, fog represents uncertainty and sensory illusions. When in a state of high stress, one's vision may become obscured or tunneled, as if one is wandering through a dense fog or mist. Societal uncertainty or apprehension about the future manifests as fog, thus blurring the lines between illusion and reality. As time goes on, we're seeing more and more cases of the Silent Hill phenomenon. In response, Dr. Triple X calls for a rapid rebuilding of society, as well as a stronger emphasis on counselling and mental health care for the young. I feel like these are all going to be dead ends until that end room. For sure. So symbolic. Getting close to her... Don't make me run again. This is... Wait. Me and my mom lived here. This is our living room. Pretty nice place. Bar. I finally lost touch with him. I'll never see him again. I thought I found my happily ever after, but it was all a dream. I haven't lost everything. I still have my children. My cute little angels who light up my life. Mummy? It's a cute bear. Was mommy not well? Because she said we were angels before. My new man showed up to my place today with pizza. Children definitely need a father, but they still won't take to him. He looks annoyed when he left. I hope he doesn't hate me. My daughter drew a picture of our family. We're smiling and holding hands. I wish she would have drawn him as well. Maybe she doesn't realize he might join our family. She's slower than other kids her age. I'm sure she'll catch up and pass them soon enough. I know how to raise a child. I'm a good mother. I'm nothing like that heartless bitch who raised me. I won't fill my children with hate and fear. Okay. Big bed. Am I the mother now? Why do I feel so small in this room? Everything feels really big. I feel like a child. He showed up again with a smile on his face and a pizza in his hands from the new place he was raving about. My daughter hated the pizza. She's extremely picky. I should probably teach her to eat things she doesn't like. I know I was forced to eat things I hated when I was a kid, but I guess it has to be done. The kids finally blew up in front of him today. He was exhausted from work and said he just wanted to relax. He makes me feel so good, but I can't do the same for him. Maybe I'm not strict enough with them. We need him for a happy life, and I need them to realize that. I know it's probably a little harsh, but maybe if they don't see the light for a while, they'll finally see the light in him. He told me the banging on the closet door was making it hard for him to unwind. If they would just be quiet for a little bit, everything would be fine. What's wrong with them? He doesn't visit as much as he used to. If I don't figure something out, I may never see him again. So she was basically abusing them to keep them quiet because she had a new man. Putting them in a closet, that's dark. 
I feel like it's intentional that I that everything is bigger in here and I'm to feel like a small child, right? Oh, okay, we are, I guess, going in the closet or something. Or under the bed. What are we missing? Oh. I'm giving up my life for you! Degradation. The old time passage through the same space trick. Everything seems to be going well now. We've been going out on dates. He was worried about my kids, so he brought him a bunch of books and toys. That should keep him occupied. I've been going out so much lately, I've left the place a bit of a mess. I should clean it, but by the time I get back, I have no energy. I got contacted by child welfare. I guess some nosy bitch or asshole in my building reported hearing a child crying at night. He hasn't called much lately. Am I destined to be alone? Everyone else is enjoying life. I'm working my ass off raising kids. Why am I the bad guy? If I hadn't had children, maybe I'd be planning my summer vacation with my friends right now. Nothing matters anymore. I'm just crawling through life. I know what's going on in the closet, but I can't look. <gasps> I just want to be happy. What's wrong with that? I'm done. What do you mean you know what's going on in the closet? Oh no. What did you do? Stop. What? Aye, that's terrifying, man. Chill. The scariest thing so far. Please stop. I hate baby noises. We've reached out repeatedly, but yet to receive a response. We take this to mean you've no intention of remedying this issue. You're in violation of German civil code, blah blah blah. Accordingly, federal courts instructed us to take your children. Should you have any objection, contact us as soon as possible. Oh my god, can we please, like, chill with this? Freaking me out, man. I literally, I, okay, can we see in the closet or no? Oh, it's here. It's the worst sound in the world. This is where we were, huh? I mean, to be fair, this closet is, is as big as the bedroom I had growing up. I, that's <laughs> not to diminish it at all, but I had the tiniest bedroom growing up. It was about this size. I thought we were, like, literally in a cupboard, but still terrible, obviously. Um, boy found dead in refrigerator. Boy was found dead today in a fridge in the home of his 41-year-old mother, who was arrested by local authorities for hiding the body. Claims to have locked her son in the closet for more than a day to punish him. When she noticed he wasn't moving the next day, she hid his body in the fridge. Damn. According to the investigation, person A's daughter ran to a neighbor's house to call the police to report her mother. When detectives arrived, they discovered her brother's body. Jeez, that's sad. You just obeyed me again! You can just stay in there!
people hurt people. What we're saying. Size this doll. Why am I seeing this room here in the villa? I tried so hard to forget this place. Ah, now we're taller again. That was a very cool effect. I've really, like, there's been some really, really cool effects and sort of trickery and symbolism through this. It's been cool. It has been good. Sad, man. Some people shouldn't have kids, you know? Jeez. Mm -mm -mm. It's like an episode of Hoarders in here. Again. Uh. I really like what you drew me way back. Okay, uh, through the door. Who knows? Who knows what way to go? She there. 201. Sounds fun. She is right on my butt. You're into art, right? You could audit an art class. Okay, so we've got to find all of the things, I guess, to dispel. Le Demon. Probably got to remember the room numbers or something. Good. Uh. Oh, big bar. It's locked. It's locked. Probably gotta like find all of the things to unlock it. Oh my god, how the how did I survive? Oh my god. See how many locks are on the door on the phone, it like updates it. Let me out! Mom! <laughs> that was a bad door to open. All of this claustrophobia is making so much sense with the closet, right? But like this is where we get chased through. Getting to 
breathe over here. Go, which way are you going, go? Bumble your way to the right space. I don't know. Two o one. What a lot of fun in two o one. In two o one. I really hope I don't get caught because there is no shot that I'm remembering everything that I've done. Okay, we looping. We looping and we pooping. Trying to find some peace of mind. Bloody maze, man. Two, one, three. Okay, it's nothing, it's nothing, it's nothing, it's nothing. I haven't done it yet. 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 I have like one left. Shoulders are so tight from playing this. I'm sorry, Mom. Oh. Oh, stretch. Once more. Into the fray. I feel like you're not hearing as much as I'm hearing, but you can probably hear the controller. Like it's going crazy with static and all sorts of spooky sounds. Okay, so the first one's right there. You're into art, right? Um, you could audit an art class. Oh, it's so dark. That end. Too easy. Oh, she's right there. My bad, sorry. I try to be smart, but it is three thirty in the morning. Great time to play a horror game in the pitch black. Okay. She's there, we turn. Let's be methodical. I really like what you drew me way back. Our next one is right at there, okay. Right at the pink. You're into art, right? You could audit an art class. <laughs> Through this blue door. <laughs> oh, she played peekaboo. Let's go 
205. Okay, that's where we... 205 is back to from where we came. Which way are you going, girl? I did a circle, but it's fine. Let's try 203. How did you get over there? You were behind me. You're way too hard on yourself. Okay, that's 203 done. Two oh two. I'm in a room. Okay, this looks like somewhere we haven't been. Is it? Yes. What's that? Is that all of them? I feel like there's one left. Oh, oh you like baby. What you see? Where are you going? Going. Pick one. She chose down. So I think when we go through a new door, we get like an image of it. 210. So we have got one in here, but she's coming. Come back to 210. 211. This is also new. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I know it's a bit. I know the screen's panicky right now. Back into 210. She's right on us. I'm hearing a baby crying through my PlayStation controller right now. That's not fun. I think this is one. What are you hiding inside? I think I did them all. have to get back. Oh. Okay. Did we do it? Okay. It's open. We did it, guys. Am I gonna be alone forever? <laughs> Sorry, I'm sure those scenes are a bit frustrating sometimes. I get a bit panicked. absorbed in my work lately. I decided to paint the girls who jumped off the villa roof. I'd like to think they left this place for something better. I think I might finally be free of my despair because I've never felt this inspired. I'm going to put every last bit of myself into this piece. My roof piece is almost done. It might actually be my <gasps> crowning achievement. I just... the girls who jumped... Are we ghosts? And we met her as ghosts? 
oh my god, that would be amazing. How much longer can I enjoy the fame and praise I get? Is there despair and disappointment waiting around the corner? The sadness that gripped me before has clawed its way back into my mind. I guess it was always there. Who knows how often it will show up. The thought makes my skin crawl. Maybe I should just end things while I'm still happy. Go out on a good note. I wish I could talk to someone. Well, no, because she wrote her the note and stuff. But what if we were ghosts all along? And we only exist in this building? She said she was going to draw the girls that jumped off the roof. And then we said, this is Emily. Like, so... Right? Doesn't that make sense? At approximately 1 p.m., popular graffiti artist C.B. Meyer Aiko Hindenburg was found collapsed on the grounds of an apartment, pronounced dead at hospital. Death of the girl comes as a shock to not only local community members, but also to all who are familiar with her work. Maybe suicide, but given her popularity and the lack of warning signs, they have not ruled out foul play. Proceeding with a full-scale investigation. She killed herself. Half a year ago? And that means... I've been here this whole time? What'll it take for you to forgive me? Please, end this. Just let me die. <laughs> the schism bush. I bet she did draw us. We thought we weren't seen by her. Everyone who died got blossoms. And went up. Is this... me? When did she draw this? We're already dead. I want to show the hidden side of girls. Their impulses. Their urges. What are you hiding inside? Don't worry about what people think. Be proud. So... She did notice me. Does she draw them after they've died, or does her drawing cause them to die? This is what I'm on. That's what I'm about discovering. First picture I drew. Hey, I remember to put it on the fridge. I could have had a different life, too. I guess someone finally did love me. You actually noticed me. I never thought you would. Emily, what should I do? I'm pretty interesting. never actually played a Silent Hill game, by the way. Might be a good time to tell you that. Let me know if I should. Which ones are good. It's actually my first Silent Hill game. Anita! What's up? I'm sorry, Amelie. I'm such a piece of shit. <clears throat> I had no idea she'd do that. What are you talking about? Did something happen? I thought I was invisible. That I didn't matter. No matter what anyone had said, I didn't 
Listen, Anita. But you and Maya, both of you did see me. I should have figured that out sooner. Anita, wait. Where are you right now? Thank you, Amelie. You were always there for me. I'm... I'm going to go <clears throat> apologize to Maya now. Wait! Anita! Calm down. Just listen to me. I just... Seeking a connection with others is a sign of weakness. It's running away. The strongest animals don't form groups. They act alone and need only themselves to survive. Those who betray themselves to fit into a group are pathetic. There's no beauty in living like that. But I don't really mind. I just want someone to understand me. For those I love, and for those who love me, I want to keep moving forward and never look back to 18-year-old me. Cool, like bookends. One was to the adult at the beginning, and then to your past self. That was nice. Good ending. Pretty powerful little story, that, for a free game. I liked that a lot. I was intrigued the whole way through. Scared in the right places. Wasn't cheap jump scares. Nice sort of thrilling story. Mature themes that made you think. We like that. Good stuff. Let me know what you thought in a comment. And of course, if you are going through in a thing, if you're having trouble, like the stuff that kept coming up, reach out, just like the game was saying, either to a professional or to a friend in your life. Um, moving day. Oh, it feels oh. kind of scary leaving What's my this? hometown, but I'll be fine. I have my Emily. Best I was doing a me. having a powerful moment here, telling people to reach out. You know. Thank you for watching. I really enjoyed this game. Let me know what you think in a comment. And if you are going through anything like I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted. Do reach out to a professional or someone in your life. Talking does help. If you need a palate cleanse after that one, I've put some of my favorite funny videos on the screen right now for you to choose from, and I will see you in the next video. Good night.